so yeah, we in Rosie. I'm on my way to drop her off now, man. Um, got the carpet in the back seat. I'm gonna show y'all what this carpet looking like. The reason why I'm getting it uh, changed out. Y'all see this carpet, how bunched up it is. This carpet is actually new, but like I said in the previous video, I tried to put it in, I ended up messing it up. That hole right there is for my trunk pop. I had to take it out of there. So I'm putting the toggle switch right there for the trunk release because I got my computer inside of the glove box. But anyway, y'all yeah, gonna get the carpet put in the right way, man. So y'all hang on. Like that, we're here. Custom Top Shop, kid. Yep, so we at the Top Shop getting Rosie's carpet done. I told y'all earlier, y'all know why I brought it here. Cause I did a piss poor job. I ain't good at everything, y'all. So don't think that y'all like a box shape. You know I do everything. No, I don't. This interior is clean, though. You'll see how clean it is. It's simple, but it's clean, though. You know what I'm saying? And I did all this stuff myself. I painted this. I put the door panels back on. I got to put my weather stripping in here. I got all of that brand new. So y'all can see, I put it around the doors already. Brand new. I just got to put it in there. But, uh... Y'all see how that carpet turned out when I tried to do it, right? Look at that shit. I failed miserably, y'all, so it's all good. But I got to take these back out and repaint them, too, because they kind of got chipped right there from this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and repaint those blue again, and then they finna throw the carpet in, like I said. So we good on that. Uh, here go my remote. Let me get this before I forget it, before I be looking for it. But yeah, that's the new carpet in the back seat. They gonna knock that out. The rear deck ain't even started. I just really set it up there. But they gonna um, get me together, man. Y'all know I got new seat belts in here already. Uh, seats look good still. This part of the seats, I said, I think I'm gonna have to wrap it because they keep peeling. I can do a touch up paint on it, but I like how the wrap look better. But other than that, the interior, once they do my carpet and I put my console in here, put that button in right here. I got the button, it's a toggle switch I'm putting right there because y'all see I'm using the glove compartment for my computer because I tried to get it on the floorboard down there but it just wasn't enough room. So I had to use the computer, the glove compartment for the computer but we not tripping headliner brand new in here. Y'all can see headliner's brand new. So that's cool. I scratched the back of that over there, you see that? It's a few things need to be done but I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it touched up man. Back seats is good. I'm gonna get it touched up. We gonna, you know, we gonna get it together. When you, when your car is in the garage, you're using it as a storage. Sometimes you get scratches on it, but it's all good. We gonna, we gonna figure it out. You know, but this is a solid piece of work though. So once I get this paint touched up, I will not be sitting nothing else on my car. I promise y'all that. Like, look at this shit. Look at all these scratches, man. I just did this today. I did this today. Look. Look at all them. I did that from sliding the boxes across it, so it's all good. Like I said, it's going to get resprayed too, so we ain't gonna trip on that. We're gonna just get it done. And uh, I know better next time. Like I said, I'm not finna be sitting shit on my car. So I know that now. You know? Yep. Yep, so I'm back at the house. Rosie is out of there. She out of there, man, so this is what we left with. And she finna be gone to the next day or two. She got to get the, uh, she got to get the paint, man, so. Ah, shit, I'm cutting my hands left and right, man. This shit is crazy. These cars is dangerous, box shape. Y'all gotta watch out, man. So y'all gotta paint all my trim blue in here. Like I said, this interior is done. Carpet is right here, boom. Got the carpet for that one too. Uh, some, I gotta get the headliner and just this back piece is done right there. Get all of that wrapped and uh, the same, I'm gonna get all of that uh, suede, blue suede, got the blue carpet going down there and then 
like I said, uh, really only thing I got to do in this interior myself, I got to paint the steering column, got to tape it off. Same thing I did to the last one, I got to tape the steering column off. I do a lot of this shit myself and paint it blue. And then I got to tape this off real nice and then paint this grapes, all the gray blue on there. So I got my work cut out for me, but I'm willing to do it. You know, I love these projects, man. They keep me busy. Then these are my floor mats I got for it. Let's see. I just got these. These some 20s. I just got these. Well, they 10s, but I keep them clean, though. You know what I'm talking about? But 87 Broham, them blue. These the ones I already had for my two-door. This for uh, Rosie right here. If I'd have been thinking I'd have got Rosie put in there, but it wasn't named Rosie when I got the mats done. Then my other mats just fell down here. Uh, this the... Oh, shit. See, he's getting shit dirty already. He ain't even put them in the car yet. But those are the blue mats for this. So this is going to be clean, man. Like I said, when we done cleaning him up, he definitely going to look good. Y'all see all my pieces over there, though? All the gray interior pieces up there. I got to get all that. I'm going to paint all that blue. Uh, but other than that, we good. And then these wheels, I'm putting blue accents in these, too. So I don't know how soon I'm going to do it. I'm going to probably do it while the car off at paint. I get them done. But, um... I'm definitely gonna get these blue ac these accents painted blue too. Like all of this stuff, blue, that blue, that blue. I'm getting everything painted blue. Yeah, I love it. I love that look. I was supposed to did it last year when I first got the car painted, but I didn't um, end up messing with it because the dude who painted my car didn't like how my paint turned out. Would y'all know that from seeing the last video? So I decided not to let him touch my wheels. I want somebody professional to paint them. So. I said I decided to wait on that, but let me get this interior out or get it down so I can stick it in this car right quick. So I'm doing a little test fit up in here just to show y'all what we're looking like. I see the dash. I gotta wipe everything down. I got dust on everything, but y'all get the picture right. Console on the way as well. Rear deck too. Seats ain't in, I just set them in there. They not already in. But y'all, y'all feel me though, right? It's a test fit on the interior, man. This thing gonna look real good when that carpet go down. Right? Carpet go down. Console gonna be in the middle with the LEDs. Everything else painted blue down there. Headliner blue. Gonna look real good with that console in here, man. Yeah. This all the other shit, like I told y'all, y'all seen it, but I'm showing y'all a little bit. It gotta be wiped off, it got dust on it, but y'all you know, can see it. It's quality, y'all. He just stitched these two, and he dusty too, but you know. Like I said, I'm gonna wipe everything down with my leather cleaner when I get done. May clean it up a little bit, you know what I mean? Gotta paint these vents blue. The vents, I gotta paint those blue. I just wanted an original look with, uh, you know, a touch of custom in there. You know what I mean? So, if you look at this interior, you're gonna definitely be able to tell it's custom, but it still got that original look to it, that original feel to it. You know what I mean? Where it ain't too crazy, but it's clean. You know what I mean? And I was gonna go with red, but like I said, this color scheme was so hard that I had to have it, man. I'm like, fuck that. This, this seat too hard with the tan stitching then i'm gonna get the car painted blue and i'm gonna put like a tan pinstripe through it it's gonna look it's gonna look real slick man real slick he did exactly how i told him to do it i wanted that stitch across the dash i thought that complemented the seats very well so he put that stitch across the dash for me to complement the seats but this is really really a quality job for our seats but as far as putting everything back together that's on me and I got that, you know what I'm saying, in the, in the chokehold. So y'all see it once I put everything back together, get the carpet laid down. Of course, I'm gonna let the professionals do the carpet in here just like they do doing my other one. I'm gonna have them lay the carpet down for me in here. And then once they lay the carpet down, I'm gonna go crazy. But I'm gonna snatch everything out, do all my paint wire, everything out the car. That way, if I get any overspray on anything, it's gonna get covered up anyway. But I'm pretty good at doing the tape off like I did in the blue one. So I'm gonna have it looking real slick though. It's gonna look professional as hell. We ain't gonna have it no other way, you know what I'm talking about? So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, just a quick video. Came back, like I said, I dropped that off for the carpet, and I'll let y'all see it when I pick it back up on the next video. And uh, 
for those of you who keep talking in the last video about the $3,500 paint job, right? I try to go to the people who was real good, like Pito, this, that, and the other, but everybody who really know how to paint was backed up. And see, I was on a mission. I was trying to get this car out by the summer, which I was rushing, which it was on my, it was my fault, but I was rushing, right? So I went to the first person I thought I seen him do my guy car. My guy car turned out actually pretty decent, you know, because he took his time on his. I'm like, damn, it looked pretty good. So that's what made me even go to him. And then I'm like, well, what you want for candy? I didn't pick the price, he picked it. So he like, well, if you want to put some candy on there, give me 4,500, yeah, yeah. That's how, I, that's how I ended up with 35 because I didn't give him what he wanted because he didn't pay, pay my shit like it was supposed to. It looked decent when I picked it up. But then once I got it home, every day I found a new flaw. So when I first got it though, I'm like, it looked pretty good, you know what I'm saying? But then when I got from a distance, I'm like, oh shit, I never seen it from a distance for about, till about a month or so after I had it. But up close, it looked real good, you know what I'm saying? But this type of shit like this right here and the other shit, I noticed that immediately. And he told me to bring the car back. I didn't mention this in the video. He told me to bring the car back and he was going to fix everything that he didn't do. But me, knowing how he worked, I said, fuck it, I'll take it to somebody else. But he told me to bring it back and he'll fix everything free of charge. You know what I mean? But I still just didn't want that nigga to get my car again. So I said, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he did. She did say, want to correct it. Bring it back. I correct it. No, I'm cool. I'm cool, buddy. But y'all stay tuned, though, man. We're going to get this shit right, though. Like I said. And if y'all want to know the cost of this interior, because I know everybody knows it. What you pay for it? Y'all asking questions. They probably ain't going to even buy it. But I'm going to still let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? You call Diego. If you know what you want. Between 25 and 35. Like I said, just for these seats and door panels alone. And to wrap that stuff, it cost me 4000 And that ain't going to be including the headliner, the carpet, you know, and everything else. But... Just the seats and the door panels cost me four thousand. So I'm just letting y'all know. He got seats that he's selling for thirty five hundred. The archer leather. These not archer leather. These are vinyl, but I'm cool with vinyl because they look good and plump. So I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Vinyl is cool for me. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you gonna get that same look. The archer leather is softer, but vinyl feel more durable to me. You know, it just feel thicker. That archer leather. If you put get in the car with some jeans on, some of your pocket, that archer leather gonna get ripped it's just so soft it's very comfortable but it's just easy to tear up through this vinyl a little tougher than ultra leather just for those of you who don't know because i've had ultra leather before you know a lot of cars come from a dealer with ultra leather in them y'all didn't know that so fun fact but uh yeah man that's all that's interior sitting up in there looking decent you know them out let go called me and told me that the um carpet is done Thought it was gonna take more than a day, but he said it's done, so I'm on my way up there right now. I'm um, getting your left lane turn left up, up uh, Hampton. So I'm on my way up there now to go pick up uh, Rosie, and uh, I'm gonna cut y'all back on when I get in there. All right, let's see what they got us looking like. You no, know, it's much. Oh yeah, that look much better. Look at there. That's what carpet's supposed to lay down like right there, man. You know what I mean? That's the treatment we need. Now we can go both the console in this hole. That's that's what uh, uh that's what you're supposed to look like, Rosie. Look at that. They got it laid down good, nice and flush. That's what carpet's supposed to look like. Now we can go. We out, baby. I gotta rewrap this steering wheel too. Like I said, I'm good at a lot of shit, but I'm not good at everything. You know what I mean? Let this seat down. Somebody been driving my Oh, he didn't give me no damn key. I guess he did. Let's crank her up. This look much cleaner here. That'd be the same one putting my carpet in in the early too. Look much better. Much, much better, man. Look how that lay down. I'm proud of them up here, man. I'm really proud of these guys, man. They did a hell of a job. Excuse me, man. Excuse me. We're gonna go ahead and go to the house, though. Yep, so we got a little sunlight. Y'all see how clean they got it laid down now, right? That's what I was attempting to do. I don't know. I'm, I know I be seeing some people steam your carpet. 
but that's I gotta learn that man. It ain't hard to do. The first time I did my carpet here, I did a decent job. It wasn't this good, but I did decent. But they got it laid down good now, man. So now I can put my console in and um call it a night. That's all I got to do. Throw the console in and call it a night. So I get back at y'all in a minute, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all. The video is pretty much over. That's all we was doing was going to get the carpet done. I uh, appreciate everybody who tuned in, man. If you're watching the video, make sure, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. I appreciate it. Check it out, man. Peace.